Hi, I'm Zylan Fanek. I'm the press officer for Team MT in Quebec, powered by Samsung. Joining me now is an injured Dennis Van Nikerk. Um, Dennis, are you lying on your back there? Yes, I have to lie on my back. Can't do much, really. <laughs> now, for some people may not know, but you crashed out of the Tour of, Tur um, tour of Portugal. Um, and yeah. did you, what was, the, what was the injury in the end? You, you fractured two of your vertebrae. Yeah, I fractured uh, T10 and T12 of my vertebrae. And let's just go back to the beginning of the crash. How did that happen exactly? Um, I, it was 10 k's to go on stage 7. And then around on the descent, there was a sharp corner to the left. And I went around the corner. And as I, I went a little bit too fast, I think. And then my back wheel slipped. And I pulled it straight, but then it was straight into the mountain. And then, yeah. I crashed into the mountain. Were you the only one to crash? Yes, yeah. And did yeah, you know? Did you know immediately that something was was wrong? Yeah, I had a uh, lots of pain in my back and my neck, so it was yeah. I knew yeah from then that it was quite serious. And I mean, how did it work? You were in hospital there for a couple of days, but how did it work flying back to South Africa where you are now? Uh, it was yeah, a joint effort by the doctor, Dr. Jared and Carol and Doug and everyone to get me back. It was, and also the, the great medical aid that we have, uh, SVL. And yeah, they managed to get me a first class ticket back from Portugal. So would, that, would you have been strapped in for the whole flight? Yeah, I had to wear this brace, so I can show you. <laughs> I have to wear this brace all the time and yeah, I could, I just sat for takeoff and landing, otherwise I, I could lie down. Is it not making you go crazy? How are you handling all the lying down and, and flying yeah, for that long? And... It's really frustrating because the pain, there's no much pain anymore. It's just like a, a pressure pain in my back. So yeah, it's quite frustrating that it doesn't feel like anything is really broken, but it is quite a serious injury. So yeah, I'm getting quite frustrated. I've finished three books already and yeah, I'm almost finishing my fourth. It's quite yeah, <laughs> taking its toll. And what's the diagnosis? I mean, how long do you have to do this for? How long do you have to be on your back for and off the bike? I went to the doctor on Friday, a neurosurgeon in Johannesburg, and he said that I can carry on with normal, normal life now. Um, I just can't pick up anything and mustn't bend over. But for exercise, I can walk and I can swim, actually. So it was quite good news when we went there. And yeah, it looks quite promising. So now Carol and Jared's going to work on a program for me to get into a gym and start swimming. And uh, Jared even said maybe some recumbent cycling way, my back supported, then I can do that as well. You know, it sounds like a nice lazy excuse for me nice excuse to be lazy around the house at least yeah <laughs> i get so but well yeah and i mean I, I don't want to make you more depressed but what what sort of racing did you have on your calendar coming up that you're missing out on now i had uh, those three under races in italy and then memorial of marco pantani that was last weekend and then yeah my big i was looking quite forward to doing tour of britain and yeah that's quite sad that i can't be doing that now well, we sorry to you. we were sorry to hear about the crash, but we're happy to see you okay and wish you a speedy recovery. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Cool. Thanks a lot for calling me.